like I always say, Nino Schurte is a creator. He can create the new steps of our sport, and this is only talents they have. This Mozart, Valentino Rossi, or Jordan. Those guys, they have something special that they are able to create. You know, in the last 10 or 15 years, the Swiss guys have become more prominent, and every generation has had its champions, you know, and, but Nino's, he's, he's raised the level of, of the whole competition. A high-profile sportsman always does a good job for in, in improving the profile of that, the whole sport, and Nino's, he's leading the way there as well. Nino has been always with us. He uh, has been an actor, a really active actor in our sport. In a young age, uh, he uh, made the steps and steps up. But not only steps, he left his fingerprints in the sport. Nino was just one of that crowd. He was winning races and winning medals. But I think when Frischi kind of started to work with him, I've known Frischi a long time, and I kind of figured, yeah, if Frischi's going to work with Nino, he must be pretty special. Right now, in 2016, Nino is a perfect rider. He's the kind of rider that all the brands they want to have because he's a perfect rider. He has everything, the image, the, the condition, he has the mentality, he's perfect. It's always a pleasure to, to race against him and he pushed me to, to train hard each day to, to be at the level. And I think I, I push him uh, also to, to the limit. So he's not the guy that uh, is making a double game. He's playing the races always with open cars and you can see it with Absalon. Both they are right now the guys that they are moving the sport and they are playing with open cars both. I, I get surprised every time I see the race and how they, they are really generous. They give everything for the show and this is, uh, this is impressive. I was a better climber than him before, but he worked hard. And now he climbs also really fast when it's steep. But I improved my technical skill also, so now we are, we are really close. So each second counts. The mental do a, a lot, and when you have a really, really big motivation, you can do the difference with that. When you race against Nino, he's a, he's a tough uh, he's a tough battle always, you know, because uh, you always get the feeling he never gives up, you know. So even as hard as you attack, he's gonna attack back, and it's just like you need a few attacks, you know, to kind of drop him. So um, he's a tough he's a t he's a tough game, I would say. The way the course is set up here, they've got grandstands in the forest, and there's there's thousands of people in there as well. It's it's like this this wall of noise. So the riders at the front are just being followed by four kilometres of, of noise, really. It's enormous because you have spectators everywhere on the track. It pushes you, but it's sometimes dangerous because it's possible to push over the limits, and they are everywhere. So you cannot have recovery. So you say, okay, at this part we don't have spectators. I will slow down a little bit. So it's, here it's not possible. They are everywhere. unbelievable uh, feeling you know if you go into the climb and you see the people lining up five rows and just like making heavy noise and screaming like hell and it's just like you get goosebumps you know yeah maybe I'm racing with uh, airplugs because it's going to be too loud here we're probably gonna see 25 30,000 spectators here so uh, it's gonna be a big show today for sure After the race, it's always nice also to, to have a chat with the one or the other fan and uh, uh, it's really cool to see, especially with kids, when you see they are following you and they really, they really want to try to do their maybe ones the same and uh, that's uh, really something that motivates me. Even my, my fan club from my, my home valley is here and uh, I want to give them a, a good result back that they not just came to, to watch the race, that they also had to, to celebrate after work something with me. 
think what fascinates me about Nino, honestly, is just this last six months seeing his videos and seeing the preparation and the focus he's got to be the best that he can be. Without that, it's very hard to understand the life of a professional athlete and it's champions like, like Nino or like Absalon, that they, they work hard and they train hard and they're, they're professional, but again, I think Nino's taken it to a new level and I think everybody's seen the coverage that that the videos inspired really and realised we've got to really step up here to, to match to match or to try and catch up with, with Nino because yeah it's, it's, it's been a game changer I think.